duration refers to change in the bond price change in the bond price based on the uh, based on the change in the interest rate by one percentage that means if one percentage interest change happens how much bond price will change that is duration and effective duration which is used for bonds with embedded options that is callable and puttable bond so effective duration for embedded option bond is equal to the formula goes like this this is an approximate uh, uh, one okay so the formula goes like this v minus minus v plus divided by 2 v 0 into delta y t m okay so this will give us the approximate value v minus refers to uh, price of the bond when interest rate comes down okay when interest rate comes down then v plus refers to price of the bond when interest rate uh, goes up and V0 refers to current price of the bond. Okay. Now this formula I can bifurcate into two parts. This is the first part. So what is this, uh, uh, you know, uh, giving us? This is giving us the average change. Okay. So V minus, so V minus and then V plus. What is the difference? So how much it is changing and I am taking the average. That is why I am dividing by v0 now why 2 v0 because twice i am taking the value in the numerator here so divided by 2 v0 so that's the intuition to find the average here then because my intention is to find you know overall change based on one percentage change so that's why then i'm dividing further with whatever uh, be the change uh, asked in the question now when i do this i will get for one percentage uh, change so it will give me an answer about you know like how much bond price will change for one percentage change in interest rates so i'll just you know do this with one example let's say there is a bond of 10 year maturity um, then iy is equal to interest per year is equal to eight percentage eight percentage then coupon is equal to 10 percentage future value so 10 percentage per annum future value is 1000 and uh, let's say interest rate interest rate gets changed by 50 basis point gets changed by 50 basis points that is half a percentage so in this case what is the effective duration so in this case how much the bond price will change if this would have been for one percentage first we will find out for 50 basis points okay so so let me write the given condition 10 years uh, n is equal to 10 iy is equal to 8 percentage coupon is equal to 10 percentage future value is equal to 1000 so let me find out the present value in this case this present value is equal to v0 so present value i'll do it through calci 10 n 8 y sorry 8 i y payment would be 100 because 10 percentage of 1000 comes to 100 then 1000 future value compute present value 1134.20 so this is v0 now, if the interest rate goes up by 50 basis points, so IY will be 8.50. Rest all will be same. Okay, so coupon 10 percentage, future value 1000. So, in this case, what is the present value or in other words, V plus that is when the interest rate goes up. Okay, 
so 8.50 is the iy so present value 1098.42 so 1098.42 if the interest rate goes up similarly if the interest rate comes down by 50 basis points so it will be 7.50 n is equal to 10 coupon is equal to 10 percentage future value is equal to 1000 so what is my present value which is also called as in this case when the interest rate comes down so v minus okay so what is this n is 10 iy 7.50 payment is 100 future value 1000 compute present value 1171.60 fine so we have got v0 v plus and v minus we just have to plug in into the formula so effective duration is equal to v minus so v minus is 1171.60 minus v plus is 1098.42 divided by 2 into v0 1134.20 into delta ytm which is 50 basis points that is 0.5 so i'll just calculate this 1171.60 minus 1098 0.42 divided by 2 into 1134.20 into 0 0.50 so i am getting 0 0.0645 so because i am dividing it by 0 0.50 so this net result is the change for one percentage because when i divide i will get for one okay so this is half percentage i'll get for one so that means the interpretation is if interest rate changes by one percentage bond price would change by 6.45 percentage this is an approximate figure effective duration Thank you.